previous action items, uh, Sean was going to create a template in the repository, basically modeled off of the GMD template. I have not seen that yet, and he's not here, so I'm going to assume that's ongoing. Matt was going to filter and consolidate the metrics list, and he's not here either, so looks like no update on that. And the risk working group was going to look at the take on the, the license metrics. Um, did it, does anybody attend the risk working group? Does anybody know if there's been any progress on that? Okay. We'll just leave that as ongoing or no update. Um, and then I was supposed to identify other issues that should be tagged with common metrics. And um, I totally forgot to do that. So there's no progress on that one. Um, so that's easy. Uh, then let's see. Progress on the organizational affiliation metrics. Brian, did you get a chance to reach out to talk to Toby about this one? I did not. Okay. So bumped up on my notes. I'll try to do that um, today or tomorrow. Okay, no worries. Realistically, I, I think this might be a short meeting because I don't think any of us got our work, got anything done because we were conferencing. Hmm. So there just wasn't a lot, uh, a lot going on. Um, how about progress on the responsiveness metrics? I think, Daniel, you were looking at that, right? Yeah, so uh, I know that you had another meeting uh, two weeks before that I, I couldn't attend. So I don't know if we had some specific advances on this. Okay. Uh, so what I did, or at least I start, started to, to work on, was uh, at, at least a set of metrics that we have been using with uh, some people, some customers, and so on. Um, so I will copy some of them here. Uh, okay, I will. I'm here, yeah, perfect. Is there an issue where we're tracking? Oh, sorry, the, the yeah, so this is oh, This is what they've been, let's say, uh, retrieving in, in terms of information. I can produce a specific uh, definition for this, but in short, and this is, um, yeah, this is, let's say, pretty focused on Garrett. Mm -hmm. uh, so there might be other um, code review, processes as, let's say, for instance, uh, mailing list as in the Linux kernel. So this works in a different way. So we may use some of these. Uh, but basically, the time to merge is the time the, the, since we have, uh, well, it's for the whole time in here. Mm -hmm. then, uh, then I was looking for specific things like we have, you know, we have iterations and then we have the time for each of the iterations there. Mm -hmm. um, for each of the iterations, basically, this is a ping pong between uh, the submitter and the reviewer. So then in this case, as, well, it doesn't need to be in this way, but typically you have one submitter and one reviewer. So it means that, well, there is a time waiting for a reviewer action and there is a time waiting for a submitter action. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've been using this, for instance, for OpenStack Foundation. Um, then the number of iterations, the time to merge since uh, this was approved. So this is an example where someone says, well, for instance, in Garrett plus two on in, in, in the Linux kernel, uh, I acknowledge this. So then there is a time till, since this is approved, let's say, till this is really in the, in the uh, master branch. Um, and then the time to first response to say, hey, uh, someone sent something, so what's our time for attendance here? Mm -hmm. This is more or less the, the, the timing I, I produce. Cool. Um, do, we have a, do we have an issue or a doc where we're tracking these? Probably not. <laughs> it might. Did we create an issue for it? We might have. Just gonna look. No, I don't think so. Um, I can open the issue if you want. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. 
um, question here. Um, perhaps I missed something. Um, do we want to work on Google Docs as we went, for instance, doing in DNI or directly in the issue? We are says it's okay. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I think both. I think we want an issue for it so that we can track it and link to the Google Doc. Um, we can also do some of the work in the issue if we're just trying to figure out kind of what we're what we're trying to do and how to put the doc together. Mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, I think a Google Doc is a good a good first step. Do we have any template for this, or simply start writing things? I would say you can just copy an existing Google Doc and replace the content. Um. Yeah. Uh, maybe I I don't know. We really so the the bit that we're doing now is a bit different than what the what a lot of the other docs and the templates have, which is um, stuff about individual you know like details for each individual metric. And I think right now what we're trying to do is get the the list of metrics that we should be that we should be working on. Mm -hmm. So, and then once we have the list, we can figure out the, the definitions. And we might already have definitions for some of them in the um, metrics repository. I haven't really, I haven't really looked. Um, I mean, it seems, sorry. Sorry, I just got back last night from San Francisco and my brain is not working yet. No I am a little bit jet lagged. Um, so this is Matt. I'm on a, <laughs> hey, I'm on a phone. I'll, I'll help. <laughs> so um, if there, if you post it in the document, I can do a kind of a cross check as to whether or not any particular metrics is in the metrics repo. I think there's just going to have to be some cleanup that's done. Yeah. Like, you know, some of them have different names, but they're the same, uh, fundamentally the same thing. So if you can just get those posted, I don't mind kind of just cross checking things. So. Okay. Yeah, I think I think what I was trying to say was I think if we if we start with an issue and we list out all of the metrics that we think we're going to need for this yep. particular area, I think yep. that would be a really good starting point. And then then what we might want to do is um, do one more review in the in the call and decide that yeah it makes sense to group these together into a focus area. And yep. then if that makes sense, then we can probably start working on. Um, individual Google Docs for individual metrics and okay. um, and put focus areas into the into the repo because I think what we'll probably need to do is in the metrics repo create a directory for focus areas and figure out what the focus areas are because that's yeah, I, think, and I think a bit of work that we still need to do so we've we've been looking at the metrics and opportunistically picking a few focus areas so organizational mm -hmm. affiliation yeah. responsiveness metrics um, sure. geographics, uh, geographic data. And so those are kind of the three that we've identified so far. I'm sure there are other, other focus areas. So I think part of the work that yep. we need to do is kind of break those metrics down into focus areas and then, um, and then figure out how to, to how to define them. Does that seem like okay. a reasonable approach yeah. to people? Yeah, it, it makes sense to me. I think the one question that I'll have is how those will be shown in the metrics repo mm -hmm. with the, given the current table. You know, I, do you want to do it like above or below, or would you have a different markdown file? Anyway, it's fine with me. Yeah, I mean, my so so the way I would envision this is we'd create a focus areas directory, which would have a README file, which would have a list of all mm -hmm. the focus areas, and have oh, it be okay, similar. perfect. Yeah, have it be similar to the way that we've done for DNI, except that the for, right. the landing page for metrics would probably. Mm -hmm still be this big list of metrics and link off that to makes total indi sense. individual ones. That makes we sense might, to me. That's we cool. might think about eventually <laughs> reordering that list because um, alphabetical mm -hmm. doesn't really make much sense um, given the way that things sure. are things are defined. Yeah, given, really and find given the size of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I'm, I'm cool with that. That makes sense. Thanks. So, yeah. Um, Anything else on um, uh, sorry i'm gonna I'm gonna break this down into how to work in the metrics repository um, in the notes because we diverged quite a bit from responsiveness metrics 
into a discussion on the metrics repository. Sorry, that was me. No, no, that's totally fine. But uh, in the notes, <laughs> I wanted to make it a separate section because I think that um, uh, just so we don't lose it. Okay, cool. Uh, anything else on the responsiveness metrics, Daniel? Um, another question. Um, where should I open the issue? The uh, open it in the in the metrics repository. In the metrics one? Okay. Yeah, and tag it with uh, common common metrics. There's okay. already a tag for it. Just make sure it gets the tag so we can find it. Okay, thanks. Okay, and then the next bit is um, the work that John did on. Hmm, oh. That link doesn't work anymore, the uh, issues link, because I changed the name of the tag to common metrics. Um, so John did a bunch of work on the geographic coverage area, um, which you can see in issue number, issue number 93. Um, Anybody have any, you have to scroll down quite a bit because this was uh, morphed from another, another issue. Um, any, any thoughts on this? It looks like maybe Georg, you and, you and John kind of went back and forth on some, some wording. Does anybody have any, want to summarize this or have any take on it? The, I, I just went back and forth with him on wording because um, there was one with the mean commit hours that didn't make sense to me initially, but we figured it out. Okay. So he proposed three. Uh, he's, he proposed to separate out location by where is the contributor located and where mm -hmm. is company or employer located. And the reason for that is once we get this commit times in UTC and we have the location figure out whether uh, contributions are done during regular business hours, outside business hours, and get some insight into the contributing behavior. Okay. Um. I wonder if we're, I wonder if we're missing some things in that. Didn't we? So we look down at our previous previous notes because I think that didn't Kate have a bunch of suggestions? Uh, country. In terms of geographic stuff from Kate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I was I just looking right. at the notes. I, okay. I don't think, I mean, I'm in a car right now, but I don't <laughs> think I have, I don't think I, I don't think I've written any notes recently from her. Okay. Re I think regarding what I'll, this issue. I think what I'll do is I'm going to tag her and see what thoughts she has on it. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna tag her in the... Okay, cool. Um, anything else on, on geographic for today? Probably, probably should cycle back on it uh, in the next meeting, hopefully when uh, um, oops. When John's here. Just mention here that um, in terms of Grumar Lab, we do have time zones. It is something discussed here. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, in, for some people, we were talking about simply adding the country 
procedence. So then, uh, well, they can filter by this information. This is supported by Sorting Hat, for instance. Mm -hmm. That was useful for some community managers as they were filling the, the information there, uh, which is perhaps not considered here or kind of considered. Mm -hmm. um, IPs, that is, it's set around the issue that I've been reading now. <laughs> and then I think it's quite interesting these uh, hours of, of activity by uh, committer or author to just make two cents here. Okay. So it sounds like the biggest gap is probably time zone in this, this list. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not time zone, might be. Yeah, well, so time zone. So yeah. time zone is given by Git repositories and mailing list, at mm -hmm. least. And then we have a specific city of precedence for those that are declaring this in GitHub, for instance, or meetups. Mm -hmm. um, or time zone, and then uh, the information provided by community managers or the people themselves when talking directly to Sorting Hat in terms of having their personal in information somewhere. So these are the places I'm aware of that information might be useful regarding to this topic. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add that. I added that as a note in the issue. Okay, thank you. Okay, cool. Um, the next one is to review the issues, um, but to be honest, we just talked about the geographic coverage, which was the uh, one of the issues, and um, organizational affiliation, we haven't really made any progress on, so we're going to cycle back on that one in the next meeting. Um, DCO. Mm -hmm. This is something we discussed at the governing board meeting. Um, and our charter called for all contributions to chaos to be signed off by contributors uh, so that they acknowledge their developer certificate of origin. And we, we are pushing towards activating the check the bot on all repositories to enforce this because our charter requires it. And I've been piloting this in the governance repository. Uh, locally, you sign off. I, I think you've all been on the conversation, so I can just cut it short. The thing is, when should we move ahead for the DNI working group on this? Oh, and there's an issue. So let me pull up the issue. Well, actually, oh, no, this sorry. Is a common metrics working group. So, uh, yes. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but this is there is an issue on the repository that. Oh, is there? Um, yeah. Okay. So anyway. Um. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I think, like you said, I think we need to just do something similar to what you've done on, um, I just added the, the label, common metrics, just so we can find it easier. Um, yeah, we'll just need to add it to the contributor docs, I think. Um, I, I'll try to provide some feedback on the, the language that you used for the, for the governance, because I think... Um, there's some pretty standard language that people use for um, describing how to do the developer certificate of or origin. And the, the language that we have feels a bit different to me for some reason. Um, and so I need, to, I need to dig into that a little bit. Did you use an example from another repository or did you write that from scratch, Georg? What you put in the contributing for the governance pull request? I I found this information somewhere online. I didn't track where. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. I will. Uh, yeah, I'll try to provide some some feedback on that. But yeah, let's let's try it for another another week or so on the governance, and then figure out how to implement it on the rest of the repositories. That seems reasonable to me. Uh, 
Um, if I don't get a chance, I would say, so the two projects that I've seen that I think do a really nice job of describing how to do this are the Concourse project, which is a pivotal project. I worked with them a little bit on implementing the DCO and um, Chef. So those two did a pretty good job in their contributing docs of describing how to, how to do it. So maybe, um, maybe have a look at those two too. Um, they're two examples that I liked anyways. Um, so releasing metrics. What's the first Sorry, Georg, I think you're frozen up. It seems. It seems. Georg's gone. You might want to try turning your video off. I'm just okay. asking what the examples were. But... Oh, okay. He was asking what my first example was, and I typed it in there so that it make it easy to find. Um, <laughs> okay, perfect. So, uh, releasing metrics. Uh, so, we decided at the governing board meeting that this is a good idea, that we're going to release some metrics. Um, now we can stop bike shedding over how we're going to do that, which is pretty cool. I don't I don't think we decided on a time for that, though. Um, timing for releasing the metrics. Um, we have not. Okay. I am um, going to propose that we are pushing for the next chaos of July. Um, maybe you can try turning your video off and see if that helps with the bandwidth, Georg, because you're, you're really breaking up. What I thought I heard you say was okay. that you were going to push for um, the next chaos con for the first release of the metrics. Is that what you said? Yes, that is going to be my proposal. Okay, cool. That seems reasonable to me. Um, and then community handbook. That's me. So basically what I did over the weekend was look over the GitLab um, example that they had. And while it was described to me as 2,000 pages, that was only slight hyperbole, um, <laughs> but only slight. So it's a lot. So what I wanted to do was start creating um, – there's a repo for this already somewhere, or there's a place to put it. And then just basically start listing the pieces and parts as issues and then start nailing them once at a time. And then I figure a modular approach to this instead of a single monolithic document would probably be best um, for everybody's sake, um, both in terms of collab collaboration and also in terms of presentation. Um, that seemed to be how uh, GitLab uh, did it, um, and I kind of like that example. So that's basically my first step, is to list out all the pieces and parts and then start filling them in. So I, I don't know if you saw this. I created a pull request yesterday uh, to create the how to use the handbook. Um, and I'm going to look for the request. The idea was that once we agree on the structure, then we can create the issues you're talking about and start filling in the different pages. Okay, yeah, I, let me take a look at that issue because I'm not 100% sure I understand what that is. I posted in the minutes. Okay. Got it. I mean, how to use is basically just read it. I'm not sure I understand what you're doing. My, my concern is how do we structure the different pages? GitLab right. is using a structure where at the highest hierarchy, they have the functions within the business. And then within that, they have each process documented. And my question 
right now is do we have that many functions or do we just start with the processes and them later? I was thinking we start with the processes that we know we have and then obviously since it's a collaborative effort, I'll be throwing that out to the group because I'm sure I'll miss something. And there are also, you know, uh, probably the processes that were so one-off and ad hoc, we'll never do them again, um, for lack of uh, a better description. Um, there's always something like that. Oh, we did it this way, but we only did it once because we were in a hurry or something like that. So, um, but yeah. That's, that's the kind of thing that I want to start posting and identifying. So I think we're on the same page. Yes, I, I think we are. The relevance for the common metrics working group is with this handbook, would be great if we could start documenting how we as the common metrics working group is operating so that we have a documented process. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, let me make sure I repeat this right. You're saying start with our work group first and then we can use that as a template for the other work groups? No, no, no. I was just saying we should make sure common metrics also documents. We can start anywhere. Okay. Okay. So that's my plan, Don. Okay. Um, do it. Anything else in the community handbook? Any other agenda items before we move to the last one, which is facilitator and note taker for April 4th? Anything else anyone wants to talk about? Okay, I'm going to be at a conference the week of April 4th, which is our next meeting. So um, do I have someone who can volunteer to facilitate the April 4th meeting and someone else who can agree to be the note taker? I can help here if you want. Any of both works for me. Anybody else? Yeah, I need another volunteer. <laughs> I will not be there next week because that is the date of my dissertation defense. Then this oh, April, April 4th is? <laughs> oh, well, good luck. Yeah. I always imagine there's a sword and shield involved with that process when you say <laughs> dissertation. That's what I asked my daughter when she did hers. I was like, no, dad, no. There should have been. I think that would make been. it much more interesting. Yeah, you're coming after this thesis? I don't think so, Whoosh, sword. <laughs> no. um, I can help facilitate and or take notes. I can do note taking or whatever. Uh, okay, does one of you have a preference on facilitator? Okay, looks like Daniel's gonna facilitate and Brian's gonna note take because that's what's in okay. the notes. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, Okay, so, and Daniel, just as a reminder, part of the facilitator role is to send out the reminder for the meeting, which mm -hmm. should go out on, um, I guess, Monday. Yeah. To send the reminder of the meeting and not to send this 30 minutes before the meeting. <laughs> yeah. And trying Monday. to. I, I will likely, I have a task on my task list to do this every other week. So if I don't see one go out, I'll try to do it. But um, okay, I'll be at a conference, so everything's just be chaos. Um, also, just keep in mind that um, for those of us in Europe, uh, let's see, I think we have daylight savings time on the 31st. So the Common Metrics Working Group will again be a different time than today. Oh, it's still the next weekend. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because the U.S. already did daylight savings time. So this is like the three weeks of chaos where no one knows when any meetings are. Um, the number of times this week that I've heard, oh, I thought that meeting was, you know, in an hour. Um, so fun stuff. Um, so just make sure that you get the, the right times in the, in the email because it'll be different than what I sent out this week, but it'll be back to the original times that are on the participate page. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right.
Anything else? Are we done? Yep. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Have a good Bye. day. Bye-bye.